So to talk a little bit about how we actually all made this all work, I'll uh, pass it over to Vincent, who can actually talk about it. Sure. So the hardware itself is going to feel very familiar to anybody here who watches TV. There's going to be TV sets, Blu-ray players, and companion set-top boxes. And they're going to be very easy to install, because they're going to work with your existing cable or satellite box, no matter who your pay TV operator is. OK, so what about the spec itself? Well, there are actually four key components to the Google TV hardware spec. Number one, Wi-Fi and Ethernet built in, of course. Number two, you're going to connect your existing cable or satellite box to the Google TV box using a regular HDMI cable. In addition, the uh, Google TV box comes with an IR blaster built in, which is what we're going to use for control. Oh, by the way, in addition to this, we've also implemented a special IP protocol between the Google TV boxes and Dish Network set-top boxes. And that's the configuration that we're using today, and it gives us really tight integration with the pay TV box. In particular, for instance, that's how I was able to um, do a one-click uh, recording schedule. Number three, plenty of processing power so that we can browse the entire web. There's also going to be a GPU for enhanced 2D and 3D graphics, and a dedicated DSP that can do video in high def and audio in surround sound. And then number four, there's the uh, Google TV input devices. They're all going to include a keyboard and a pointing device so that we can actually navigate web pages. <clears throat> and our hardware partners have come up with designs that I think you're going to love. 